All right, we always tell you the best food and wine combos to serve at your party. Now we want to tell you what food and wine pairs just do not work. Your, your, uh, anybody that's your party guest will be talking about you, but not in the good way. Lori Forster from The Wine Coach is joining us uh, live right now with the studio, and you brought some samples here. Yes. And these are, uh, we're looking at bad pairings right now? Very bad that? pairings. People Don't always do tell this. you the great things to do, right. but I find in my own life, you learn more from mistakes than always the you, success, right? Yes, you do. And you won't All make right. that mistake again. So the overriding rule when you're pairing food and wine is match the weight of the food to the weight of the wine. Okay. So lighter wines with lighter foods like salad, seafood, okay. heavier wines with meats. So here I have my first deadly dining disaster. Spicy quesadilla with right. salsa, hot, hot, hot with some jalapenos in there, and an oaky, buttery chardonnay. High alcohol yeah. and the oakiness inflames the spice. It's going to make the dish taste even hotter. So both taste nasty. Right, and you go all this trouble making great food, buying a great wine. This is Kamomi from Napa right. Chardonnay. It's delicious, but better with a grilled chicken or a grilled fish. Okay. But this next wine is a Riesling um, from mm -hmm. New Zealand in central Otago, southernmost winemaking place in the world. Right. Archangel, it's called. It's a really great story, a really great wine. Little bit of sweetness to it. Okay. Would go great with the spicy contrast. But if you put it with artichokes, I don't know if you love artichokes. I do. But I like I do. artichokes. Oh, yeah. Artichokes have a compound that makes wine taste even sweeter than it really is. So this little bit of a sweet Riesling is going to end up tasting really sweet. Like Kool-Aid. Yeah. Okay. So you really want to put that more with a crisp, herbaceous Sauvignon Blanc, like the one I have here also from New Zealand, but Marlborough region. And that's going to be a nice contrast, okay. whether it's marinated artichokes or fresh. Okay, now let, let me say them. something that maybe most of us, like myself, don't know much about wines. But whenever I see red meat, I always think about pairing it with red wines. Is that a true right. standard? It is, for me, a true standard okay. because there are fat in the meat, right. okay? And tannin from the red wines is a great complement. Okay. So that, you just were a perfect segue here to why would you put a crisp, high acid Sauvignon Blanc? with a steak. It's going to be so overwhelmed by the boldness of the steak that you're not going to end up tasting this beautiful, beautiful wine. Love Block Sauvignon Blanc is actually made by Kim Crawford. I don't know if you've heard of that winery. Oh, yeah. Huge. He sold it for a bajillion dollars, yes. now started his own craft winery, making great Sauvignon Blanc. He's going to do it all over all again. All right, not bad. And oh. all these wines, about $25 or under. Would that go well with the oysters then? That, exactly right. The red Zinfandel with oysters, you're going to get fishy, metallic, yeah, yeah. not good, but great with your steak. So switcheroo, oh, do the Sauvignon good, Blanc so. with the oysters and the Zinfandel with the steak, and there you have a great pairing. Now, do you see a lot of people, I mean, I know you teach a lot of classes in this. You deal with a lot of um, instructions, basic instructions. And, and, and right. really, you find out people are saying, no, 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 why would you do that? But if you're sitting at a restaurant and you open up the wine list, it's difficult to tell the weight of the wine there. Can you right. ask the weight staff that? You should absolutely ask. Okay. Us wine geeks, cork dorks, we want to help, right? And when you're trying these together, right. here's a little tip. When you're at home, because you're going to try these at home, right. I know, make a wine sandwich to see how things go. Okay. Sip the wine, bite the food, then sip the wine again, and notice how it changes. You like it just as much or better? That makes it easy. That's a great pairing. There you go. Then you know. All right. Now, exactly. of course, if you need to have any of those questions, she's got a book written for you. It makes it very easy to find out all those. And you can find that book right on our website. Log on to foxbaltimore.com slash morning.